All right, those mangoes are really pretty tasty, you know, you know they say. Make sure to sign on to Raid Shadow Mango or whatever. I don't remember what they call it, but you could play with with me and uh all those people, Jimmy Roll and whoever. Play with you can play with PewDiePie if you sign up with my code. Dude, PewDiePie He's like not even that good. I beat that guy like two days ago on raid. Yeah, I killed it. I, I killed him in raid Shadow Legends. You Dude, know, was, he can't. He, triumphant. He can't raid with the pros like me and you. Like we're we're going pro. Yeah, he doesn't even. He does. He's not. He doesn't even have shadows. Like. Dude, <laughs> dude, that guy is a poser. You know, he has almost the same birthday as me. Really? Yeah, as the same year and every and everything. I have, the birth- I have the same birthday as Randy Santel. PewDiePie and I are born one day apart. Wow. Yeah, See? I share a birthday with Randy Santel and uh, who else I share a birthday with? Mick Fleetwood. Mick, Fle- Fleetwood, Mick Fleetwood. I share a birthday Fleetwood with was- Weird Al. Not Weird Paul, Weird Al. I wish I I sh- share a birthday with uh, Mick Fleetwood, Randy Santel, uh, Johnny Carson. This this one actress on on Power Rangers Beast Morphers. I share a birthday with her. <laughs> okay. Shout out to her. <laughs> well, I like cool. Power Rangers, so I I, I figured oh, that was I'd good, follow yeah. her on Twitter. And she, and she like, was yeah. like, "It's our birthday today," and you were like, yeah. "What?" Well, she doesn't know who I am. I, I think I, I think she did wish me a happy Wait, birthday the one year I found out. Because I was just like, you are. hey, it's my birthday, too. No, she doesn't know who I am, but I, she's just like, it's my birthday. And I'm like, it's my birthday, too. And she's like, happy birthday. Oh, well, that's nice. But she's like, she doesn't know Pori Nog. Like, she's, she's like some famous, like, I don't know. Like, she better yeah. get her, get her priorities yeah, straight. To, she has to get her act together. She got what? What would Zordon say about that? He's not even on the show anymore. I don't think. But yeah, Zordon died. Yeah, dude. Spoiler. What the heck? A uh, spoiler of a of a or fifteen year old episode. Fifteen? Isn't it like? Tw- or didn't he die in the movie? Oh no, I guess he didn't die in the movie. He, he like- almost died in the movie, and then uh, he was he was alive throughout. Um, he was alive throughout. Uh, throughout the movie's the like. Like, oh, no, he was alive. He was alive throughout old. Zio, and then after Zio, he was kidnapped in Turbo, and then ter- throughout Turbo, they had like a replacement that was really bad. And uh, how do you kidnap a man Rangers, in a giant tube? I don't know. They kidnapped him though, <laughs> and then uh, in Power Rangers in space, they find out he's in space, so they go in space to rescue him. And then in the finale, of uh, Everyone, there's like a big war going out, and then uh, Bulk and Skull save the day. Of course, Whoa. actually, that's Wait, the most, I've that's seen the most, this. I that's think. actually the most badass moment of Power Rangers, in my opinion. When Bulk and Skull just like lead the civilians to fight these people, like that was kick ass. Like that was that was awesome. But then um, the Red Ranger Andros, uh, he smashes open Zordon's tube and kills him because when Zordon dies, like he emits like a power wave that makes everyone either good or like if they're genuinely evil, oh, they yeah. like disintegrate. Whoa. I really like Power Rangers. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get into the Super Sentai too? Uh, I've watched a little bit of it. Like I've watched all of Loop Hat. I've watched all of Q Ranger. I've watched a bunch of a few other series. There's a and really good get... PS1 Two. game. Uh, like... Hurricanger. I like the... Uh, I like it's a the, Japanese. Uh, I like the, the Super Sentai game that's on uh, Famicom. It's the one that's based on G-Ranger. I it's actually... Yeah. It's really hard, but it's pretty good. That's probably the most expensive Famicom game I've got. Yeah, my most and, expensive uh, is like... Crisis Force, I think. That's it. Uh, oh yeah, there's there's like some there's Super Sentai games on the Sega Pico too. Really? Yeah, they're like fighting games. <laughs> they're, on the just, they're on the Pico. That's weird. I have a few of them. I have Deca Ranger and I have a uh, uh, Abba Ranger. I think it is the one that turned into Dino Thunder. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're on there, and then there's three Pokemon games, which I will cover eventually. <laughs> well, here's a cool thing I got. Oh, what's a cool thing you got? I got this King of Spades. 
Um, oh, but man. for real though, for real, for real. Uh, <laughs> here's a photo. Sick. Here's another one. It's also sick. From November '94. I did not. The other one is from. She doesn't say. Ninety-three, but you know who did take these and gave me the King of Spades? He wrote this. Neat. Do you know who it is? Hmm. He made a game I showed in the beginning. Uh. He did uh, the art for Parappa the Rapper. Huh? And this mm. is a tape he made. <laughs> um, that actually a <laughs> an, an associate of mine, I guess I'll say. But uh, you don't like uh. Parappa. Oh, I've never played Parappa. Little... I'm sure I would like it if I played it. That's neat. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I didn't know he did music, and this guy I I don't I don't want to call him like a friend because I don't really know him that much. Like I've never met him in person. He lives oh, in he's Pittsburgh. Your friend. Come on, oh, he lives in Pittsburgh. Of course, he's your friend. Isn't everyone in Pittsburgh friends? No, if you're across a river, you're like an enemy. And there are a lot of rivers, so there are a lot of enemies here. But there's like 498 yeah. rivers here, I think. What? There's a river like under my house. Divides 498 my house rivers? Now. What? No, there are three main rivers. But there's oh, the urban insane. legends that there's a fourth river under the city. It's like the, <laughs> the urban river. Legend, the legendary fourth river. I'm not even kidding. It's a real thing. But there, there is actually kind of a river underneath the city, but it's like it's like an old glacial flow or something. Legendary. The elusive river. Yeah. It's like uh, that river that like changes over time. So you're never in the same river twice or whatever. Yeah. It's like a Greek thing. <laughs> it's like a Greek thing. Here's a thing I got that was actually really nice. My friend Brian DeSanto. Whoa, what? I didn't know that was in there. Oh, is little Samson in there? The value. That would be crazy. No, Zelda's in there. But oh, cool. he gave me an NES. I already have one, but it actually... Uh, well, he also gave me a Sega Genesis and his PlayStation. And I might keep the PlayStation because I think it's a different model than the other one I have. Um, I have the PS1. My original PlayStation broke. Uh, then I had another one. And then I, gave, I sold it to a friend like when I got yeah. the PS2. So... Then I had the PS1 because my grandma didn't know it was different. Like, she didn't... I don't think she knew it was, like, I already had it, basically, because I had the PS2. But I actually really liked the PS1 because it had the screen. And then I have the original PlayStation because I bought it a complete unbox PlayStation later. Um, yeah. But this is an NES, and he gave me some other stuff, and there's some games he gave me. But this game is... Inter or this uh, console is interesting because it has a name on the top. And this is a friend of my friends who actually passed away recently. And oh. I had to send a picture of this to him. So, uh, I don't know. I just thought that was... Um, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, his friend Tom. Uh, and I had a friend... That's actually weird. I had a friend Tom who actually passed away two weeks ago also. Who is like oh, a childhood sorry. friend. Like, I didn't know him for a long... Like, I only knew him when I was in elementary school. And then yeah. I think he moved to a different school district or something. Yeah. We used to talk a lot about Gundam Wing. His name was uh, Tom Blank. He actually works at... He worked at a bakery my mom worked at. She still works there. Okay. Uh, here's some games Brian gave me. Desert Strike. Some of these I have. Desert Strike. Sonic 2. Never heard of it. You never... Uh, it's about the guy says we have to move quickly or something. Uh, mm. Mortals mm. in combat. Um, I definitely don't have this one. So yeah, I don't have this one. At least not complete. Uh, not that it's like a rare game or anything. But I have like, a. I have a Genesis. I have a Genesis console that that. The pack-in game with it is is that game. Really. Yeah, college football's national championship two. It's two, yeah. Specifically, Bad I name. remember. 
It's um one of it's I think it's the only box Sega Genesis I have. It's a Model Two, and it came with uh that game. <laughs> Mine is a Model Two. My Genesis, well, the one he gave me is a Model Two, and the one I had was a Model Two. Maybe this was his pack-in game. I don't know. I don't think I think the I think the pack-in was cartridge only because I think they I, if I recall correctly, the inside of the box just has like a cartridge like size um... hole in it. I think I don't have it complete, but I have the system complete. Hmm. Well, he also gave me. Uh, I didn't have this. I guess it's a complete clue. I like clue. I feel like that would be fun, but it is fun. I, yeah, cool. I have a funny story about clue. My friend Ocasia and I wanted to play clue. Uh, Ocasia's in the intro to the channel. She looks like Lydia Lunch, so there's like a dumb joke about that. But my friend Ocasia, um, she she still looks like Lady Lunch. But because that was like, you know, five four years ago, whatever, five years ago. But she um, she was like, we're gonna play Clue, we're gonna play Clue, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna play Clue. I've never, I've actually never played Clue. Still, it's we, fun. I like it. We were gonna play Clue, and I went to the thrift store, and it it was like this very magical world, and you would go there, and they would always have whatever you were looking for, and they had Clue. So I bought Clue, and then she didn't want to play Clue, and I'm like, bah, 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 bah. that's what I did. I went up to her and I went, bah, 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 bah. and then th four Magic NES games appeared from my friend Brian DeSano, and they were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I already had, Dude. Mario Three, and it's not the Left Bros. The value, dude. I used to, yeah, Mario Duck Hunt, and this was pretty common games. I actually don't have the last one. I didn't have the last one. Uh, Double Dragon Three. It, it's kind of games, uh, something else. Bimmy and Jimmy. Yeah, Bimmy and Jimmy, classic. Bimmy and Jimmy. Did you... Clue, there's like a there's a Clue like PC game that like people speed run because um what basically at the very beginning of the game like you can immediately guess who who the who the person and the weapon and the place is so like people like grind oh, the yeah. speed it's like of just of just clicking and guessing the the person until it's right because it's like randomly generated that so like people terrible. just grinding for hours and hours so they can get the like one second world record it's a thing doesn't someone have it already at this point yeah but they try to get it at the same time like there's certain world rec like like dragster on the Tory 2600 for example like you can't get better than what they've already gotten but you want to get that perfect score or if you want to get a oh, okay. world record in a, the controllerless Barney on Genesis record. What? That's a speed run. Like, speed running Barney on the Sega Genesis without the controller. Because if you don't play the game, like, the game will just, like, play itself. Oh, okay. My friend Ryan <laughs> like... actually was talking to me about speed runs when he was here. We played that. We played LSD. Uh, yeah. We didn't do mangoes, so don't get any ideas. Yeah. But humorously, I've actually never done any recreational drugs. <laughs> so it's true. Kind of funny to me that we're doing this. We're we're do that we're doing mangoes, you know. But we're mangoes. Yeah. We're it's very interesting because we're not even in the same location. But you yeah. know, they say what they you say. Pass puff, 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 you pass, pass. You, pa you pass, pass, pass it. Me, you know, uh, <laughs> it's you gotta wash your hands now because they're all drip. They're all drippy. Wait. They're all sticky. Oh yeah. boy, doing wow. too many mangoes over here. But uh, I can't get the other thing I'm trying to get. It's like over here. But there's a big bag I got at the yard sale, and it's full of Star Wars books. Um, and the Star Wars thing for me is more recent. Um, like I watched Star Wars when I was little, but I I started getting more into Star Wars that after I got the tabletop RPG. So. I saw all these books and I was like, oh, that might be fun. And I, I have like some familiarity with the what, what is now called Star Wars Legends. It used to be the EU. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Anyway, it's time for the grand finale. Oh. So, you know, the holidays are coming up. Yeah. And so, like, I, I don't know. I wanted to celebrate the holidays. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is a Ooh. holiday thing. It's not coming up, though. This is a tabletop RPG, Babes in the Wood. It's about little kids, not 
like hot girls in bikinis. So yeah. Babes in the Wood. Like Babes in Toyland or something. Well, apparently Babes in the Wood is a famous uh phrase. I think it I think there's a book called Babes I've in the Wood that um is the name the book was is uh was written by somebody named Caldecott, I believe, and that's like the namesake of the Caldecott medal or something like that. But this is uh Powered by the Apocalypse tabletop RPG. Uh, I actually found it disappointing and I will review that soon. It is a very good setting, but it's basically over the garden wall, the RPG unofficially. And like, I that's, watched over the garden wall. Oh, it's really good. I really recommend over the garden wall, but this, it also mentions like wizard of Oz, which we already saw. I got that. Um, yeah, you got and, the box. You're sad. Yeah. And uh, it also references Alice, Alice's adventures in wonderland, but it's really like very specifically over the garden wall. Like, like very specifically. Anyway, like I said, it's time for holidays. It's time to get the holiday celebration going. So here it is, the holiday gift set. Oh, man. <laughs> so you get all your favorites, especially a special holiday one. Th holiday three in one. Like I said, doing too many mangoes over here. Bundle pack, you get the Lunar Gun, um, a very thin turbo pad, and um, that memory card. And the art has this very strange, like, filter. It's like a weird, it. like, it's like, a weird, like, uh, like wind effect to it. Yeah, I don't really understand why they did that. And this Wait, box is, are these is like, terrible. Are these like legit like PS1 accessories? Yes. They're from Naki. They're still carded. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get this graded. I'm going right. to resell this stuff. Dude, I'm going to I'm gonna buy all the mangoes I want. So, like, uh, I don't know if I would really want to use it. Oh, boy. This Controller feels... does not look very this good. This feels terrible. This... Oh, boy. So, does it look really thick? Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Value. <laughs> there goes all the value. Uh, it's, like, weirdly, like, thick. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Uh, the gun, I'm sure, is fine. Uh, I think it's sort of like Konami Justifier style, not uh, Namco uh, Gun Con. Yeah. Which is actually appealing because I have like several gun cons and I only have one justifier and they're very um they're significantly rarer than the uh the gun con. Yeah, Chris Bear has a had had found like a Japanese gun con in like a local thrift shop that oh, the we black at. one or yeah, because he was like because he was like, Oh yeah, I got this gun con. I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese because mm -hmm. you know a lot they people wouldn't release a black gun controller yeah. in the US at that point. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese one because it's black. I have the black one and I have the gray American one and there's also an orange one that I have to get. Oh, yeah. Anyway, here are two last things that relate to the holiday bundle. So one is this has crazy packaging. This is the red sight for mm -hmm. Naki's lunar gun only. So in case you need a laser sight for your toy gun controller that you point at the screen wait so that's know. just like a like a targeting thing to put onto the light gun you just showed me yeah so you actually literally put this on the gun and um, it's like a laser sight and because this is like disturbing kind of become a sharp shooter 100 percent target killer that's Aim, a wacky fire piece. and hit and i love how it says playstation down here because it's not how it's spelled but in n64 looks weird too but it's compatible with the lunar guns for n64 sega saturn and playstation wait is there even is there even oh any light gun games for the nintendo 64 no i was gonna say because i know saturn ones exist i know ps1 ones exist but I don't recall any light gun. P I know there's some weird J Japanese accessories, like you know, like I want to say there's a Densha Dego controller in Japan. Oh yeah, yeah. Or and then there's like the dance pad for the one DDR game they got in Japan. I didn't know about that. Yeah, there's. I think Disney DDR made it to the oh. N64 in Japan. Yeah, I've seen that actually. 
but I've never seen any gun. I mean, N64 sucks anyway, so <laughs> who cares? But I like N64. I, I like it too, but it but like PS1 is better. I don't think you'd disagree well, with the that. The PS1's my favorite console. So. Yeah, well, it's better um, than the N64. <laughs> anyway, here's N64 another... N64 doesn't have Tomba, so... Tomba's really good. It also doesn't Tomba. have Wild Arms. So, here is another weird Naki gun controller. The Top Gun Fighter. Show your power! Does that work on N64? <laughs> no, it's for Sony PlayStation only. Oh. Two player action, which doesn't make any sense because this is one controller. Designed for all really light cool. gun games, eight fit extended cord, long or lightweight for long term playing. And it has like this crazy packaging. And they all have this. Like, the art. like it looks really cool. They all have this, but they're it's like slightly different. Like the pattern is different and the colors are different. And the other one has that too, but it's like sort of like a red, orange, and green. Like I don't even know how I came upon these. I was like, I actually don't know at all. I was looking for something and I found, I think the holiday bundle. And I was like, what is that? And then I looked, I was like, is that a good price? And it was like the only one on eBay. And like, there was no like record of it being sold that I could find. Yeah. And it was like 25 bucks. And I was like, oh, I'm going to buy that. Yeah. Um, Cause the seller sent me an offer and I was like, what? Well, yeah. Now I have to buy that. And then I was looking, I was like, because I saw the thing on the back, it talks about the laser sight. And I was like, what's the, what's with this laser sight? And I saw the laser sight complete in box. And then I saw this gun. And I actually thought this was the lunar gun, but it's not. It's like a different one. So yeah. I was just like, I have to get these. Like, these are crazy. You should do a you should do a video on like weird PS1 accessories. I feel like you would contribute something really cool to that. Well, I have a lot of them. Like, so I have. That's what I mean. I figured you probably have like tons of other ones anyway. So, like, that'd be cool to just like do like a goofy, like a goofy video of you just like playing with them. Because I want to do some accessory videos too. Like, I've been over the past like two or three years, I've slowly been accumulating stupid Wii accessories. Mm -hmm. So, there's like, I'm, I, there's a few. There's a, yeah, there's a few really big ones that I want to get. Like, um. Like the the babysitting mama baby that's like a plush baby doll, and you put the Wiimote inside of it. Huh. And uh, yeah, there's like um, oh, what else is it? There's like these metal like gun controllers you put the Wiimote in that like were released in Europe only alongside uh that the Toy Story game that's like an arcade game. Oh. Huh. Like, there's a lot of really bizarre ones, and I want to get some more of them I, I, before I actually do the video because I want to cover a lot of things. And I still gotta get like some basic ones, like the uh, like the Wii Fit pad, which I mean you find them at every Goodwill ever, so it's not like I won't find one. For PS One, I have the Pop and Music controller. I have two of those. I have, like I said, several gun cons. I have the Justifier. I have the Mad Cat's Blaster, which is actually a PS2 controller. It's, it, but it can function as GunCon One, Two, or Konami Justifier. Yeah. Um, I have two of those. Well, that's that's cool because they're actually different. Like, so mm -hmm. if you don't have the Justifier, you can't like you can't use the GunCon in like Area Fifty One or Maximum Force, uh, or I think uh, that might use the GunCon. Um, Die Hard. I'm not, I'm not sure if that one does. Um, but yeah, so it's it's like cool. You can do any of them, and it rumbles. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually like the Mad Cat's Blaster. But I also have the Neji Con, like the twisting one. Um, I don't have the Jog Con, the one with like the wheel on it. Uh, oh, yeah, I, have... I like that. I think I showed you like the one I have. It's like it's not quite the Jog Con, but it's like sort of like a knockoff of it. <laughs> yeah. I have like a steering wheel for PS1. I have um what else? I have a wireless controller that like I don't know how it works. I have some other really weird controllers. Um I have a cow controller that I had since I was little. It just has like a cow print on it. Oh, that's um cool. I also have the really weird walking controller that I haven't opened yet, but it's like huge. The box is like this big. 
And it weighs oh, like yeah. 50 pounds. Like it's like an oh, actual. I think I remember game. you posting about it. And I have, I think most of the games for it. There's definitely one I'm missing. At least I think. I don't think I got it. Oh no, I do have it. Maybe I have them all. I have. Well, no, I, I think there's one more. I have Punch Day Diet and Happy Jogging in Hawaii. And I think there's another oh, yeah, yeah. one. But uh, there might be two more. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because there's not a lot of info about the walking controller on the internet. Are you um? Are you going to? Are you ever gonna go one for day. a full PS One set? Yeah, I, I actually am kind of. I, I mean, I don't have that. I have like, I think like seven hundred of them, maybe. Um, I mean, how big is the PS One library? Like two thousand, like that. It's not th- actually. I don't think I have seven hundred. I think it's twelve hundred. It's the thing that sucks about it, like in terms of knowledge about it is like there there is not really a good list online yeah there might be somewhere but a lot of them will list like unreleased games like exodus i i hate that and or they'll list like japanese games or european games like ones that like almost came out here but didn't like sometimes they'll list that or it'll like just literally list like a european game like it'll be like attack of the saucer man and it's like that didn't come out here yeah you should make like a definitive list yeah i thought there was more games because i know the ps2 is like 2000 games right something like yeah i think ps1 is like 1276 oh that's Um, not too bad so you're you're pretty well on your way with that well i think i'm wrong i don't think i actually have 600 because i think i was counting so i have this list of like total games i have for each console but i actually haven't updated in a while um Partially because of this, because then I like hold all these games and then I like yeah. get to put them in there. Um, but like, yeah, so I have I have at least 400, but like my master list also counts like variants, yeah. which like don't like I'm not counting variants when I'm saying like there are 1200 or whatever. So like I have three copies of Loaded because I have like the long box, the jewel case and the greatest hits jewel case. Yeah. Uh, or like I have two copies of Xenogears, like I have Greatest Hits and the, the Black or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like I don't like really look for Greatest Hits, but like if I see it and it's cheap, I'll buy it. Um. So like you know there are different versions, like like I don't count those because like they're the same game. Now there is a weird one, like there's Resident Evil. Then there's a Resident Evil Director's Cut, and then there's a Resident Evil Director's Cut Dual Shock. Those are like technically all different games. Yeah. Um, but I've seen like I think on one of those lists I've seen, like they list like the Resident Evil like double disc case different than the single disc case. But like that's the yeah. same game. Like mm-hmm. so I I don't know. Like there's stuff like that. There's like the Resident Evil 2 jewel case or uh Dual Shock versus the original. And there yeah. are some weird ones that like maybe you could count as different in that way. They don't have different names, but Jurassic Park The Lost World is different. The greatest hits is different than the black label. Mm. So like I don't know if I would count that as different. I probably wouldn't, because it's the same name. Yeah. But it is different potentially content wise. Thank you.